Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of Designers Learning jQuery. Today, we're going to take that simple tab example that we built back in episode four, and we're going to spiff it up a little bit by adding some animations to those tabs. Let's get started by reviewing what we had at the end of the tutorial in episode four. So here is our simple tab example from episode four, where we can click on the tabs and it loads up that content, which works just fine, but we have the ability to actually make that quite a bit fancier with jQuery without doing a lot of extra work. So let's take a look at this example, which looks the same, but you'll notice that when I change tabs, there's actually a nice animation that happens between the different tabs. Let's take a look at how we can change that simple tabs example from episode four into this new animated example. The code that I'm starting with is the code that we had at the end of episode four. The HTML is going to stay exactly the same and we're just gonna make a few little changes to the CSS and to the JavaScript. So first up, let's head into our CSS file and you can see that we styled our individual tab elements by adding a background, a border, and a padding. We're actually gonna remove that and we're gonna add those styles instead to the div with the class of tab content, which is the div that holds all of the different tabs. So if we look back over here in the HTML file, we have a div with a class of tab content that wraps each of our individual divs that have a class of tab. If we head over to the browser and refresh the page, you can see that it looks and acts exactly the same. Now the difference is that we have styled that wrapper container around each of the tabs instead of the tabs themselves. That gives us the ability to animate the content that's in the tabs without affecting that outside wrapper. Now let's head into the JavaScript and see what the changes are that we need to make there. So the first thing that we do is set up a variable which gets all of our tabs with the class of tabs. And then we hide each of the individual tab content areas and that's all fine, we'll leave that as it is. Then we add a click event handler to our tabs which are the links that are at the top of the page which we then styled to look like little tabs. And that's fine, we wanna leave that. We're gonna prevent default, perfect, we wanna leave that. This line of code, if you'll remember, uh, I'm sorry, these two lines of code, line seven and eight, handled adding and removing the current class so that whichever tab was currently clicked had a different style than the other tabs. And that code is still perfectly fine. We're gonna leave all that there. The only thing that we want to change is this line number nine, which is the little bit of code that actually handled showing and hiding the different tab areas. We're going to do something a little bit different, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. The first thing that we'll want to do is we need to add some variables because we're going to be reusing a lot of our different selectors. And of course, we want to make our JavaScript as performant as it can be, and we want to cache those selectors in variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called new tab, and I will set that equal to this dot hash, which if you'll remember from the line of code we just deleted is the selector that we use to get the tab that should be shown after a link is clicked on. Next, I want to get the new height. And this is because we're gonna animate the height of that tab content container. But first I need to know what is the new height that I'm animating it to. And that height is gonna be the height of the new tab. So I can just say new tab dot height, and that will get the height of the tab that I'm about to show. And then finally, I wanna get that container, which we know has a class of tab content. Now, once the link is clicked, I want to find the currently visible tab and fade it out. So if we look over here right now at the page, the Helium tab is currently visible. If I click the neon tag, the first thing that I wanna happen is fade out the Helium tag. So what I can do there is to say new tab, 
dot siblings to get all of the siblings of that of the new tab that we'll be showing and we want to filter that to show to just the visible tabs so in this case that would select helium since that's the tab that happens to be visible and I'm going to call our fade out method which you'll remember from our animations episode the next thing that I would like to happen is after I have faded out the content, I want to resize the tab content container. So I have that already in a variable, so container, and then we'll call the animate method. And the animate method will allow us to animate any numerical value of any element on the page. So we're gonna animate that tab container. And what we wanna animate, we pass in first an object and we're gonna pass in the things that we wanna animate. So we wanna animate the height, and we're gonna set that equal to the new height, which we got up here on line 11. Var new height is the height of the new tab. So we're gonna get the container, we fade out the content, and then we get the container and get what the new height should be. And then we say how quickly we want that animation to happen. So in this case, I want it to happen relatively quickly. I'm going to say 300 milliseconds, so just roughly one third of a second. And then the last thing that I want to have happen is that I want to fade in the new tab content. So for example, I'm on helium. What happens when I click the neon tab is I'm going to fade out helium. I'm going to get this tab content container, animate it to its new height, and then I wanna show the new content of Neon. Now the trick is that I wanna make sure that that doesn't happen until after the animation is finished. And the way that we can do that is by passing in a callback function to animate, which means that jQuery is gonna call this function as soon as the animation is complete. So as soon as the animation is complete, I wanna say new tab, and I wanna fade it in. And again, we want that to happen pretty quickly. So I'm gonna say fade in fast. And those are the only changes that we need to make to our code to switch from our very simple tabs that we had before to animated tabs here. So if I refresh this page in a browser, and now when I click neon, you can see helium fades out, the box resizes, and then the new content fades in. And because we gave a really short duration to all of our animations, we made fade in and fade out both happen fast. And we said the animation of the height should only take 300 milliseconds. It happens very quickly. So it still seems like a very responsive interface, but it has that nice little bit of something a little extra, which is one of the great benefits that we get from using jQuery, that we can build something like this that has a little animation, a little nice touch that makes it seem a little more premium, a little more high end. And we only had to add a few lines of code to be able to do it. That's all I have for you today. So thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about jQuery, pick up a copy of my book, jQuery for Designers, available now 